brand new reading vlog. Today is Monday the 12th of October and this is going to be a weekly reading vlog but it's kind of going to be specific for one particular book. If I do finish this book in less than a week then I probably will be vlogging the other books that I read if I do read any other books but it will be mostly dedicated to the probably the most hyped and most anticipated release of the year. Like the last time I remember there being this much hype about a new release is was Crescent City and Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare and Sarah Dumas and there has just been unbelievable amount of hype for this. If you've been watching my previous vlogs you will have seen um, the fact <laughs> that I had quite a lot of trouble ordering and receiving this book from multiple different websites but it arrived today and I'm going to open it on camera with you and start reading right away. Okay, here we are. Don't mind the fact that I'm literally wearing sweatpants, like it's business on top, casual on the bottom, you know? We love that vibe of a Monday. So here we are, you're balanced against a pumpkin. Um, here we are. I'm beyond excited for this book. Here she is. It is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Oh my goodness. This is, hold on, let me get a better angle. Okay, the lighting was better over there, but we're just gonna deal with that. So it is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This cover is literally stunning. Um, it's quite a lot shorter than I imagined. Like, not like lengthwise, but like, it's the size of a paperback. I'm so excited for this book. Um, the postman came a little bit later today. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is the most beautiful book I've ever seen. I do like the US edition too. Like look at the little end pages. Um, but I'm really, really excited. So yeah, as I said, the postman came a little bit later today. It's now like after 2 p.m. Um, they usually come around 11, but it actually worked out okay because I have all my schoolwork done now so I can literally dive into this right now. I'm so unbelievably excited. Like I waited so long for this book. So I guess I should kind of explain what this book is about. So Addie LaRue basically makes a deal with the devil that she can live forever, but the consequence of that is that nobody will remember her. Hard to deal with, but anyways, she decides to go for that deal. And then one day she leaves a bookstore and somebody remembers her. And then she's kind of going down the path of why do they remember me? Like what is happening. I really don't know what else to say because I haven't read it. Um, this will be a spoiler free vlog by the way and if I do say anything remotely spoilery I will put a warning but this will be a spoiler free vlog because this is a new release and I want everybody to be able to to watch and enjoy this vlog. So this has 541 pages which is quite long but honestly I'm so excited. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to annotate this book because I really want to but I also have a second edition coming and I don't know which one I'm going to keep and which one I'm going to sell or give away. So yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to finish editing last weekend's vlog. I've got about like five, 10 minutes left of it. And then I'm going to dive straight into this book. You have no idea how excited I am. I've heard lots of people say um, that they cry a lot at the ending. Now, I don't usually cry at books. I feel sad at books and I get really, really sad at books, but I rarely cry. Like there's certain exceptions, of course, like The Nightingale, you know, that was a tearjerker on every single page. But I literally, I watched Meg with Books vlog last night and she sobbed. So I don't know how the ending will affect me. I don't know if this is a standalone or if there are more to come in this series. I honestly don't know if you know, let me know down below, but I will, it will be interesting to see if this is one that's going to make me cry because I rarely cry at books. things to say um 
already we kind of have some buy wrap in here. I always love a bit of wrap in books. And secondly, this is quite sad. I'm trying to picture what it would be like to literally have nobody remember you. You know, like you leave a room um, and suddenly everybody just forgets who you are. She's kind of like making her mark on the world without making a single mark. She's not even able to write her own name, which is kind of sad and like... I am just really, really enjoying this book so far. There's quite a lot of like beautiful writing, like literally on the first page. It wasn't even the first chapter. It just, it was like the dedication or like a quote at the beginning. And it says, and no matter how desperate or tired, never pray to the gods that answer after dark. And I love that quote already. So it seems like I'm just going to really enjoy this book. I hope it doesn't drag too much. I'm just going to continue reading and we shall see when I'm a little bit further in. Update time. I have just reached part two, which is on page 100. I absolutely love when like a new part or a new chapter starts on like an even page number. I don't know, it's a thing and I really like it. So we've just got to the point in the book where, and this is not a spoiler because this is literally the synopsis, where we find the guy that can remember her. So. I'm really intrigued to see how this happens and to see what actually happens because because it's the devil that she made a deal with and he makes, he knows what he's doing. I don't think this is just like a flaw in the plan. I think that there is a calculated reason to why he can remember her. There has to be, but like I don't have a clue what that is and I'm really really enjoying it. There's some lines in here that's so beautiful and some things that are just so incredibly sad that it just makes me tear up because I'm like poor Addie dealing with this and yeah it's really sad. So I am liking both of the timelines. One of the timeline is like 2014 New York and then the rest is like 1700s France. So I'm liking both of the timelines equally because she is the same personality in both of them and it's just really interesting to see how things have changed and practically everything's changed since the 1700s. So this is really really intriguing and learning more about the flaws in her deal. Everything about this is very very intriguing and I am very excited to continue reading. I've, I'm surprised that I read just 100 pages of this right now because honestly it doesn't seem like the book the type of book that you can just speed through even though I kind of am because the anticipation is just like making me want to read through it faster plus because it's definitely not a plot driven book like it's definitely more of a lyrical character driven book almost um or like just writing driven book prose there's so much prose in here um and yeah that's definitely something that i've noticed so i feel like if i wait too long to like in between reading this, like if it takes me too long, I will lose interest. So I definitely don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna just try to read it as fast as I can without skimming and without taking the enjoyment out of it. Because at the moment, it's definitely, definitely very enjoyable. Don't know if it's a new favorite or anything, but I'm only 100 pages in, so we shall see. So yeah, while we're on the topic of like nobody remembering you, one of my irrational fears as a child, like a recurring nightmare before like real fears kicked in and I had to like worry about like real things. Um, I used to be terrified that my entire family would turn into bears and forget about me. So if I were Addie LaRue, I'd probably just like cry my, my way through my infinity life. Like it was genuinely such a fear of mine and it doesn't even make remote sense. Like another weird fear that I had and I literally made a TikTok on this yesterday and it's so embarrassing was I was afraid oh my god that Kung Fu Panda was gonna come in my window and steal me away so I was so afraid of windows for years now I'm saying until I was about maybe like 10? 12? don't even know and I was so afraid like I literally changed my whole room around so that my bed would not be near the window I was so scared I would not sleep under a window like how does that even make sense like how did I possibly think that Kung Fu Panda a fictional panda 
that talks and does kung fu was gonna come to my specific house and steal me away and even if he did why did that scare me like do i not want to be on the level of tigress do i not want to be a kung fu legend i do is you're ever wondering what scared me as a child there you are because yeah i think i would i wouldn't be able to handle if nobody remembered me I'm just planning my content for the rest of October because there's quite a lot that I want to film and I really want to like schedule some things rather than just filming here and there and everything like that so yeah that's what I'm currently up to. Hi guys it is now Tuesday night and I'm gonna be real honest I haven't read much um I said I divided this into sections and if I had achieved the sections that I said I would I would literally have about 100 pages left in instead i'm only 100 pages in i'm on page 132 so between when i updated you last and now i've read 32 pages it's very slow i think because this is such a hype book and this is not me saying that i'm not enjoying it i'm enjoying it um but because this is so hyped and because i literally waited so long for this book to come out and felt so much like hype and pressure to read this as soon as it came out i'm either like stuck between wanting to completely binge read it and finish it really quick and possibly not enjoy it because i'm not gonna get everything from it um it's one of those books that i'm like when i'm actually reading it and in the story i'm loving it but wh when thinking about picking it up i'm kind of like because I know it's going to take a lot of like comprehension and really reading into things because it is a very lyrical book and it's it's quite slow too like we met the guy that remembers her and that's not a spoiler by the way because it's literally the whole plot of the book so far I think we've had like one chapter from his perspective and I'm really interested to see their friendship slash romance develop i'm not sure um but i am quite interested to see how that happens and i feel like the book will pick up when those two get together she's going back and forth about all of the times that she's done things and gotten away with them because nobody can remember her essentially that and it's quite sad in parts but it's also quite like infuriating in parts too which is kind of good and it's amazing so i'm very interested to continue reading i've spent my time on tiktok today r.i.p um i literally once i like i can go without going on tiktok well within reason but like if i start on tiktok i never stop it's definitely like a new habit that i need to pick up that i just need to go through my day without tiktok for as long as possible because when i don't open it at all that day completely fine but as soon as i open it even once we're screwed so i'm gonna read a little bit more of this today hopefully get to part three there's like another like 70 pages i know this is the addy larue vlog but i mean it's kind of like just a weekly vlog anyways so i went for a walk this morning and i was listening to the audiobook of Sabrina the Teenage Witch I think it's like the chilling adventures of Sabrina and I'm listening to it on script on audio and it's really interesting it's just the perfect autumnal read like I'm hoping that it's not too scary I haven't watched the Netflix adaptation but I I watched like the 90s show I think it's made in the 90s or early 2000s I watched that show and absolutely loved it and it was not scary at all so I'm hoping the book will take more from that kind of show rather than the Netflix ab adaptation because I think the Netflix one is a little bit scarier but we shall see so I'm listening to that on audio too um yeah tomorrow is Wednesday and I go to my Nana's for the whole day I might just put in a few fresh curls in the morning like in the front or something before I go which is no point because I'm literally babysitting and I'm like my hair is gonna be a mess by the time I get home it's fun. So yeah, I have more books arriving tomorrow. I ordered quite a few. It is Prime Day today, which is like, if you have Amazon Prime, there's quite a lot of deals going on. Not really on books. Okay guys, hello, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. I leave in like 30 minutes and my clothes aren't dry. So love that for me. So this is my pajama top, but we're just gonna 
skirt past that little fact. So I do have an update on Addy that I will tell you in a minute, but I have two packages and as far as I know, they're all books. Love that. I was on such a good streak of not buying books and then I bought like one book and then it all went from there. So here we go. Okay, here is a package numero uno. I think I do know what's in this one. I know it's in all of them, but like still. I'm really excited for this book because it is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I'm so excited. When I finished The Turn of the Key, which is in last vlog, um, I was just so hooked. And this gives me very, very similar vibes. The last one was like, she's a nanny in this job. And this one is she's like a house sitter in this like creepy house. So I'm really, really excited to read this. Also, The Haunting of Bly Manor, which is the sequel to Hill House. Um, it's based on The Turn of the Screw, which the turn of the key is based on so it's essentially based on the turn of the key and i'm really excited so me and my mom are going to get brave and watch that it's a bigger package that has quite a few books okay so first off we have two thrillers one of them is the silent patient um and i've been really eyeing this thriller for so long what it's about is she this woman shoots her husband five times in the head which is just lovely but then she refuses to talk like she will not talk about anything this was like one of the most popular books going around last year and see it feels like it would be such a fast read and super like mind twisty so i'm really excited plus i've been literally eyeing this for so long had it in my basket taken it out so i just decided to bite the bullet and get it the next one is for the october pros before bros book club and i'm really excited because the last one's book was The Turn of the Key and I didn't read it before the book club but I am going to go back and watch the discussion to see what people thought but this one is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris and this is like the perfect marriage or the perfect lies. I'm very excited to read this for the book club and hopefully I will get it done in time for the discussion this time so I can actually take part. Thrillers are usually quite fast reads too and the last book I am so excited for this is, as far as I know, a new release. How do I say it? Like Dark Academia, but also kind of like gothic. It is Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. I am so excited for this book. I've seen so many people that I that I adore reading this book and it just looks amazing. So it's essentially about like this elite academy that once you go in, you cannot go out until you graduate or until something I don't know you just can't leave um and it just sounds so creepy and everything like this so I'm trying to build like an absolute like Halloween TBR like I know we're in October and it's literally the middle of October but I am hopefully going to be doing a readathon on Halloween night I do have an update on Addie LaRue um so the last time I talked to you I was on page 130 and I was liking it but not completely obsessed um I stayed reading this pretty late into the night yesterday and when I say pretty late it was actually like only after 11 but I was in bed at 9 30. Why? I don't know usually I stay up until like about 12 or 1 but I was in bed at 9 30 prepared to go to sleep then I said okay I'm gonna read like one chapter. One chapter turned into two hours of reading and I am obsessed. I was gonna read later but I knew I had a pretty busy day today and would be really tired so I didn't plus my comprehension level kind of goes down but anyways I read to page 216 so in total yesterday I did read 100 pages and I'm enjoying this significantly more um it's at the moment it's kind of sitting on like a four star um read for no particular reason but only the fact that it's kind of slow the reason that I'm enjoying it more is because her and Henry have now kind of been reunited and she realizes that he remembers her and um it's very intriguing i'm definitely enjoying the 2014 chapters more than the 1700s chapters just because i love henry henry strauss is a teddy bear like i literally love him so freaking much i feel like the stories are going to intertwine at some stage but prefer the new chapters um it's just so wholesome but the thing is the thing is don't think that luke has just like let something slip through he hasn't just let like one person remember her there is a method to this i just don't want the ending to be really flat he said that like 
she didn't even guess the turns and the twists and she cried and genuinely did not predict a thing so <laughs> i usually like come up with the most weird theories in my head like when i was reading the turn of the key i was convinced i had this cracked since like page 10 but in reality i just had this weird theory in my head but like it it made no sense but like i convinced myself that that was what was going to happen and then i got bored <laughs> Does that even make sense? Probably not. But anyways, so I'm really excited to see what the twists and turns are. I hope they don't like tear out my heart too much, but I'm really, really enjoying this book. Um, So here are the little parts. So I would like to get up to page 360 today, which is part five. Um, and that would be quite significant, you know, more than halfway through the book and then could finish it tomorrow. Like literally all of the books that I've ordered have arrived now, except one, but I'm not going to tell you what that is because I'm very excited for that to arrive. But anyways, I'm just going to read this as fast as I can. I am also listening to the audiobook of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, but I'm not completely in love with that. Like I haven't really gotten into the story yet. So that's going to be just like a pick up and pick down throughout the whole month, I guess. I'm not really in the biggest audiobook mood for some reason. But I mean, that's okay because there will be weeks and months where I'm literally only in the audiobook mood. So I guess I'm just going to go where the reading takes me. It is Wednesday night. It is, do I know time? 9.30. Oh my goodness, it's later than I thought. Um, So I got home a little while ago and... Um, I hit 1,000 subscribers. I need a moment to process this. I honestly never expected <laughs> to get this far. I never expected to like, for people to actually enjoy my content. And sometimes I get messages and they're like, you're my favorite booktuber. And I'm like, is this a dream? Am I, am I gonna wake up? Like, it literally means an unbelievable amount to me. Um, and so happy and grateful and oh my goodness, like 1000, that's huge. So thank you to each and every one of you who have subscribed and who watch my videos because I know it's only a number and it's the people who, you know, watch and like and comment and just enjoy my videos and I'm I really hope that you do and thank you so much for getting me here. I like, I've had my channel for about two years but I kind of gave up. I deleted a lot of videos. They were really trash. Almost deleted my channel a couple of times. I did delete every video from it. Um, but then in March when quarantine started, it was kind of something to kind of keep me going and, and a thing to do, a thing to focus on that made me not think about the literal shit of the world. And it has become so much more than just like a distraction or so much more than just like whatever. I'm unbelievably grateful for each and every one of you. And I have posted pretty much consistently since March and my views, my numbers, my subs have just gone way up. And honestly, that means so much to me. Um, like, I'm shocked. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking, but I'm just shocked. Um, I'm gonna watch a couple booktube videos, you know, watch what got me here. And um, I'm going to then read some more of Addie. And I know like 1K in the big scheme of things isn't huge, but it's huge to me. And I would rather have a smaller following of true friends and supporters than a huge following and like hate and everything like that I just love you all so much and I just need to stop talking right now um I read about I want to say about 20 or 30 pages of Addie today while my sister was doing her ballet class on zoom it's the sweetest thing ever and I read a good bit I'm really really enjoying the relationship between Addie and Henry I just love Henry and want to protect him with my entire life so yeah that is it I love you all and I will talk to you very soon I'm just gonna go like celebrate i cannot believe because i yesterday i hit 3k on instagram and today i hit 1k on youtube like sorcery who is this hey guys happy friday um 
Yesterday I didn't vlog anything because I had a really bad day, honestly. I was just super anxious. It just wasn't a great day. And you know what? We have days like that. Days just are not great. Honestly, today wasn't amazing either, but it was okay. You know, we're getting there. It is now like three o'clock and I'm home. I had to work a little bit earlier this morning and I'm home right now. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, and I want to read more of Addie. I've only finished two books so far and it's the, 15th, the 16th of October. Okay, I had to move you because you were balanced on Addie, but I got a book in the mail today and it is The Other Side of the Sky by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This I saw in an Aprilius Maximus reading vlog and it honestly just made me really intrigued. I thought it was gonna be much bigger, like it's big but I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. It's 471 pages and it looks amazing. It's like about this like prince and princess, but one of them's in space, one of them's on earth and like, I don't know, something. It's like a sci-fi fantasy YA. So update on Addie LaRue. I've reached up to part five. I have this much left of the book. I'm on page 360 and this is the most amazing book ever. Like, it is so beautiful. It is so amazing. I did predict one of the things. I don't know if everybody's predicted it because I thought, like, well, it's fairly obvious that that's what's going to happen. So maybe everybody predicted it. But if that was one of the shocking plot twists that I've been told about, it wasn't that shocking. But I'm still loving it. And I love Henry with my whole heart. Um, I love Addie. So I really want to finish this today. I haven't got that much left. Like I found the audiobook on Scribd. I was not expecting to find the audiobook on Scribd. Like I, I love Scribd, but it doesn't usually have exactly the book that I'm looking for, especially, especially when it's as hyped up and as popular and new release as Addie LaRue is. Like everybody and their mother is reading Addie LaRue right now. So I really didn't think that Scribd would have it. I thought it would be like an Audible exclusive. And I was like, I don't think I'll use a credit on it. I'm gonna physically read it anyways. But last night I spent about like an hour and a half listening to the audiobook and it was phenomenal. I do prefer physically reading it, but just because I couldn't physically read at that moment, it was perfect to listen to the audiobook. Um, so really loving that. And yeah, this is an amazing book so far, guys. And I can definitely say it is worth the hype. I think there's a lot of things in this book that certain people wouldn't like. Like it is quite slow, quite lyrical, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Hello guys, it is now 5 p.m. on Saturday. Um, I am dressed, I'm just wearing a dressing gown because it's very cold. Um, I have got less than 50 pages left in The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I am going to finish it right now, but I also don't want it to be over because I'm so scared as to what is gonna happen in the next 50 pages. I'm not gonna go into my thoughts right now because I'm gonna go after the 50 pages, but I am so excited. Tonight, me and my mom were supposed to have a party. Obviously, now when I say have a party, I mean literally just me and her because this week I hit 1k subscribers and 3k followers on Instagram. So we usually get a takeaway and some non-alcoholic wine every thousand followers. So we thought because it's a thousand on like each platform, it'd be really exciting. And it's just a little wholesome thing that we do every time I like reach a milestone but I'm not sure if we're gonna be doing that tonight. We will be doing it at some stage, um, whether it's like next week or tomorrow or whatever, but I'm not sure if we're gonna be doing it tonight. Why does she do this to us? I'm on part um, seven and I've got like 20 pages left. It's a ride. I'm crying. I'm crying over other things too, but I'm mostly crying over Addy. I'm not even looking at the camera. Um, I'm about to finish this right now. Okay guys, so I finished the book. I finished The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, I know I look rough by the way and pretty warm, but I've had a shit day. So we're just gonna go past that fact. I didn't cry at the ending. I don't know how I feel, honestly. It was a beautiful book and I don't know if it's gonna be like 4.5 or five stars. I definitely didn't cry at the ending. I know I just like put in that clip of me tearing up, but that was like not the ending. That was like a couple of chapters back, which was sad, but at the same time, like it wasn't devastating. Um, I didn't, 
I didn't feel a particular way about the ending. Like, I don't want to spoil anything. I'm not going to spoil anything. So, like, I was happy with the ending. But at the same time, like, I would have been happier with a different ending. But th the different ending that I would have been happier with, then I might have taken away points because it wouldn't be realistic, if you get me. So, really, it's the perfect ending. It's amazing. It was an amazing book. It was a wild ride. It was a beautiful, lyrical, magical book. And I already know that you are hopping on to the bookstores right now and buying your copy already. Or libraries, or wherever. I was going to say Amazon. I was like, well, I can't really promote Amazon because they're shit. But I buy practically all my books from Amazon because I'm cheap. Um... I loved this book. Um, I don't really know, like, when people were like, oh, I'm, I was shocked about everything. I wasn't shocked about anything. Nothing. Like, I pretty much predicted everything. I didn't predict the ending, but, like, I wasn't shocked when it happened. I, I loved this book. I did. And it's definitely worth the hype, but it's not quite as emotional as others have depicted it as maybe I don't know I think I'm gonna need to let it sit settle in for a little while I'm going to edit this vlog right now because I have a pretty long night so I'm gonna edit this vlog but it was a beautiful book I can't wait for the Waterstones edition to arrive and I'll see which one I like best um it was a an amazing book like I loved it